right, so we got the new Adam Jones Silver Burst 1979 Les Paul Custom. Um, uh, we're gonna do a little uncasing, I guess you could say. And let's take a look at her. Got the old <clears throat> chainsaw case from the the Norlin era that this guitar is supposed to be recreated from, so that's pretty pretty cool they did that. There she is. Interesting strap buttons. Oh, it's got a nice little loot there. I like that. It's pretty big, too. That's what she said. Neck feels good. See what's in the typical Epiphone <clears throat> case candy. Here, to be honest, I'm not. I don't really care for. Adam Jones, I mean, <clears throat> I was never really that big into Tool, but, you know, some of their stuff is cool, but I just love a Silver Burst Les Paul Custom, and when I saw the specs on this, I actually saw it leaked, um, so I knew, I, I knew what day it was coming out, and, uh, my buddy Evan at Sweetwater hooked me up and shipped this out. And, uh, yeah, let's plug it in and uh, see how it sounds. Um, I just like the specs on it. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to put that mirror up there or anything. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And, uh, yeah, see how she sounds. All right, so <clears throat> I just like looked it over and as far as I could tell, the tuners are, I expected better quality tuners on this, honestly, um, but they're like the old style. Um, so I should be able to find like spherical locking tuners and put them on there. They should probably bolt right up um but other than that um there's just like some uneven <clears throat> the binding when they taped it off i don't know if you're going to be able to see on the bottom there um it's a little uneven i mean that's you know kind of nitpicking stuff but um that's just cosmetically um I weighed this before I started playing, and it's uh, 9 pounds, 4 ounces, so it's a good weight. Um, and it seems like it's got, I know like before, Epiphone's had, like the, the top wasn't the same. You know how on Gibson's it kind of, it's like a dish? Um, on Epiphone's it was kind of just car carved, and then it kind of, you know, didn't do that dish before it 
got to the end of the guitar, but this one looks like it's, I don't know, that just might be me seeing things, but um, it looks like it, it kind of has like a dish to it. Um, I don't know if when like Gibson a couple years ago when they changed the headstock, if that's what they started doing with the bodies or whatever, but it's been a while since I played a, uh, a newer Epiphone, but um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it stays in tune well, it, it feels nice. Um, I don't know what's up with this pickup though. I gotta, you probably see it. I'm gonna take it out, see if one of the, one of the strings are jammed up on it or something. I don't know. Maybe it's doing that thing where it's leaning to one side, but it's supposed to be a, a pretty high end pickup, Gibson pickup in here. Um, The neck feels really good. I like a thicker neck anyway. And, uh, I don't know. I just like that volute on it. Just something I always liked on, on guitars and having that. customized front on it let me see if i could do the app and still record a video i don't think i can couldn't change channels on there and keep the video running so um yeah so i mean is it worth the price that they're they're charging i don't know everything's fucking expensive today so kind of hard to to judge that but whoever set this up uh i mean they got the bridge slammed Usually, Epiphone guitars, at least from what I remember, um, you know they're not they're not set up like that when they from factory. I didn't I didn't do anything to this yet besides tune it up. Um, I don't know if Sweetwater did that or or what, but I mean the action. 
I mean, it's pretty high. It could be, it could be down a little bit more. Um, to bridge doesn't need to be up that high, but. I think the headstock's pretty cool. I mean, <clears throat> the Gibson headstock, or I mean, the Gibson headstock on on the Les Paul. I mean, it's it's probably, I mean, obviously it's iconic and it's uh, it's going to look great on a guitar. So I think it, I think it looks nice. Probably probably a good move because, you know, a lot of people probably buy it just because of that, but. They had that greeny guitar come out that uh that had the same headstock, so I guess they're gonna they're gonna start doing it now, but um I think I think it looks cool. I bet the the Gibson purists are probably pissed off at that, but they've they've done it Epiphone's done it in the past, so it's not like it's anything new, but um <laughs> Game's pretty cool too. <clears throat> uh, I'm still messing with all the presets and everything. I just uh, created an account for it, but yeah, uh, I like it. So there it is. That's how it sounds. Not that it's gonna make any justice on this because I think you could plug any pretty much any humbucker into this or any pickup and it's gonna sound pretty identical. <laughs> you know, these modeling amps are at least that's what I believe. I mean, they're gonna. It's not like a regular amp where you can kind of distinguish between pickups and what they sound like, but yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching. Yeah.